In this video, I'm going to go ahead and build a simulation mesh for the hair. In the last video, towards the end, we went ahead and started setting up our mesh for export, assigning material IDs for elements that were going to be cloth. And I kind of ran into, uh, I had to stop because I didn't have a simulation mesh built for the hair yet. So before we can export, let's go ahead and build a simulation mesh for the hair and then we'll assign a new material to it and then we'll be able to export everything. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna duplicate the hair and unparent it, shift P. And then I'm gonna hide my meshes and I'm gonna hide my joints. And kind of like we did in the very first video, I might make a few duplicates of this because I'm basically gonna deconstruct this. I think if I take this inner shell and invert my selection with Control Shift I and delete, I can kind of get something that is, actually let's do the opposite of this. So I don't want the inner shell, let's do the outer shell. Uh, actually the inner shell is kind of better. All right, so I'll do the inner shell again. And instead, what I'll do is do mesh display and reverse. So I'm gonna reverse those normals so that they're on the outside. Let's make sure you delete history on that. And let's go into the shape and turn on double-sided so we can see a little bit better. Okay. So that's one element that we can use. This is a much better sim mesh than the full thing that we had. Let's take a look because we're still missing some elements that would be kind of nice to have, right? So I'm gonna take maybe some of these other ones. So first let's delete that. Let's delete that and delete that until we're left with this. And don't really want to use this if I I'm trying to see if I select some of these things and invert the selection and delete what we're left with. Again, let's turn on double sided. This itself, you wouldn't really want to use as a simulation mesh. You probably could, and it might be okay. We could definitely try it. Um, but it's probably better to have a more generalized shape that kind of covers that kind of covers this up. Um, so maybe in that case, hmm, I think what we want to do. So we could definitely do. This is our simulation mesh. Try that out. Kind of already have some clip in there, but might be able to fix that. Or we could build another mesh on top of this that simulates or, you know, kind of generalizes these shapes. This is what's kind of a bummer though, because I do think we'd kind of lose out on that and that would maybe deform a little bit strangely. So I don't know, let's try to keep this. So let's take these two pieces, make sure we delete history and then mesh combine and merge. So proxy mesh hair. So we'll get a new material ID like we did before. We'll do this and just call it sim hair M. And our proxy cloth is already skinned. We actually do want this skinned. Um, so we need to skin the hair. So let's go in here and grab the neck, the head, all that stuff. Actually, we don't need the neck. Skin, bind skin. And then let's go ahead and import our hair weights. Closest point on surface and transfer. So if we take a look at this, right, we should have pretty good. Okay. Hmm. 
If we wanted to refine it some more, we could definitely come in here to the layers and um, clean this up so that nothing on the side hair would be pulling anything over here. Because um, you can kind of see that we've got some weights on this part. So let's do that. I'm going to do the mask, uh, flood this, select all of this, turn it to zero, and flood. So now if we do the side, it should just be the side. And what's going on here, there's probably So the same thing on the back here. Let's go to the mask, uh, flood, select everything, invert our selection, paint, and flood. So that way we get some nice separation on these, and then we can come back to the side here and see what's see what's going on here. I think it just doesn't have enough. Remember, this is okay because our mask is actually masking it out. But let's, let's go ahead and, oops, I have that set to zero. Instead, we'll set it to one. I'm gonna grab these pieces and just smooth. And that should help make that look a little bit better. Awesome. All right, so now that that is skinned, let's go ahead and hide that. We can grab our two proxy meshes and let's put them underneath the meshes group. Select the root, select the meshes, file, export selection. And I'm gonna call this um, SK Might. So for exporting, FBX, uh, want to make sure you do a couple things. Uh, smoothing groups, turn that on. Tangents and binaries, turn that on. And smooth mesh, turn that off. Those are probably the most important things. Uh, animation, we don't need to really worry about. Uh, so you can see that uh, we have the deformed models and skins. Uh, I'm not honestly sure if you turn off animation, it grays this out. So I'm just going to turn this back on so that we do get these for sure and export selection. This is okay. This is just saying that some of the pieces it didn't find a bind pose and that's okay. Okay, so I think in the next video we will actually get a project in Unreal started and get this in, get it set up with materials, um, and then um, that should probably be that video. Then we'll do some retargeting and get it moving around, get our dynamics. So to me this is the fun stuff coming up. Um, and we'll get this moving around. It'll be pretty cool. All right. See you then.